In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the use of the Boolean operator OR in the Academic Search Complete database. And uh, just like in the previous tutorial, I'm going to be limiting my results to titles, although you don't have to do that. Um, to start out, I'm going to start out with the concept of fracking, and I'm going to use my brainstormed ideas and join them with the Boolean operator OR. But let's go ahead and just start out with doing our search for fracking, and if you recall, we went ahead and truncated that. So let's get our initial search results up. And so now we have our 353 results that include the variation of the word fracking somewhere in the title of each article. Now if I want to expand my results and be more flexible, now here's where I want to use the Boolean operator OR to include some of those brainstormed terms. So I also know that fracking also is referred to as hydraulic fracturing, so I'm going to enter in that. And you can truncate that as well. And since this is a phrase, I'm going to go ahead and, and close it into my uh, quotation marks. And let's see what we get now. I had 353. Now I'm being more flexible, so I should get more results. And now I have 582 results. And let's go ahead and sort these by the newest floating up to the top. And I can see that in each one, I have at least one of my two terms. So this first one has hydraulic fracture. The second one has fracking. Uh, the third one has both. The fourth one has fracking. So you can see it did what it asked, what I asked it to do. Retrieve results that have at least one of these two terms. Now if I want more results, I can brainstorm even further and add in the concept of shale. So I had 582 results. Click on search. Now I have over 2,000 results, and I'll see that it threw in anything that had anything to do with shale. So shale, shales, and then I start seeing some of my other articles that I pulled up before with hydraulic fracturing and fracking. So any article that had shale in the title suddenly got thrown into my search results. That may or may not be useful. I'll, I'll have to take a look at that. And then I'll also want to look for other terms that might be useful in my brainstormed list, and I could always add some on here. Now let's go ahead and clear this out, and let's brainstorm my subtopic. Now I wanted to find articles on earthquakes, and I can truncate that. Let's just do a search with earthquakes in the title. And here I have almost 9,000 results just dealing with earthquakes. And if I were to view my results, I would see that earthquake or earthquakes is in each one. Now I'm going to turn back to my brainstormed list and put in the Boolean operator or and add an alternative. So let's say I found articles that I was interested in that just dealt with quakes. So I'm going to go ahead and say earthquake or quake. I had 8,905. Now I have over 12,000 results. Now unfortunately, looking at my search result, I see that that also threw in Quakers, which I don't necessarily want. Um, but at this point, I only see one that got thrown in there that was dealing with Quakers. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it that way. Um, it also might, for my brainstorm list, I might find articles on seismic activities, okay? And I could also truncate that to just after the M, and then I can um, have all the different variations of that word as well. So I had 12,000 plus, click on search, and now I have over 21,000. Now keep in mind that some of these articles are just going to be dealing with seismic forces. Here's one on Quakers. When you use OR and truncation, sometimes you get some odd results. And at this point, all of these results are only dealing with the concept of earthquakes, quakes, or seismic activities. This result of 21,957 results has nothing to do with fracking. I didn't ask for anything to do with fracking. This is just my subtopic. Later on in the tutorials, we'll show you how you can combine your main topic with the subtopic using ands and ors together to come together with a really good search. But for right now, you'll see how or, as you add more ors into your search result, the more search results you're going to get.